To show you how easy it is to file a claim with GEICO, we hired a soap opera star. Gracious me, my car has storm damage and I've had to file a claim. Could it possibly get worse? Will my claims team leave me for someone else? Someone less intense? Um, no. Actually, when you file a claim with GEICO, you get your own dedicated claims team who promises to stay with you throughout the process. Oh, I've never known such loyalty. I can't wait for the second season. Geico. Great service without all the drama. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Is that Shakespeare? Nope. It's Geico. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Shakespeare from one of his unpublished works. Oh, it be not for awakening. Nay, give it thou the berries. For 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. No, it's from Geico because they help save people money. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Geico got it from Shakespeare. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Career Builder is made for people who have that thing. You know, those superpowers that make you good at your job, the skills you bring to work. And Career Builder knows those skills make you right for other jobs too. Higher paying jobs with benefits, jobs you never thought of trying. Are you a people person? Work from home as a customer service rep. Are you organized and like driving? Become a delivery driver. You have the skills it takes, and CareerBuilder.com has the jobs to get you hired fast. Visit CareerBuilder.com. On with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom, Republic Records recording artist Jordan McGraw. Welcome to the show, Jordan. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, you're on the road as we speak with the Jonas Brothers. Very cool. How's it been going, and where are you at exactly? Uh, it's it's going as well as you would expect. I mean, it's they're the best group to be on tour with. Their fans are nuts, and everybody's just beyond stoked to be in, in a concert venue with real live music hanging out. So it's amazing. I'm so fired up about that too. And on the road, they're not making the crowd. Are they making the crowd all mask up on most of them or? Uh, a lot of people are doing it on their own, but, uh, our tour in particular, you have to show proof of vaccination or proof of a negative test within three days of the show. Okay. So, then you can just party it up. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Um, what's been the best part of being on the road? Uh, you know, the first show setting foot on the stage, I, I couldn't help but smile ear to ear. It was like, you, you know, you like smell the sweaty people, see all the, the, the big smiles, hear the yelling. It's just like, oh, it's home. Nothing like live performances and that energy. You're, exa- you're exactly right. Um, the latest single is called She. What inspired this one? Um, my wife and I were quarantining together. Or my now wife. We weren't married at the time. Congratulations. Uh, but uh, she woke up or I woke up and she was just sitting there glaring at me. And I was like, what? What did I do? She was like, it's nothing you did. It's something dream version of you did, and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, my God. I have that conversation all the time with my wife. She wakes (laughs) up pissed at me. I'm like, oh, I had a bad dream. I'm like, well, that's not my fault. Oh, I have to play this song for her. Keep going. (laughs) (laughs) No, I mean, that's it, man. And she she still wouldn't tell me (laughs) what I did in the dream because she's like, I don't want you to get any ideas. Yes, yes. (laughs) Wait a minute. We're living the same life. That's exactly. Exactly. If I I I ever get a hold of dream me, (laughs) I am going to just tear him apart. So, so funny. So does that have anything to do with your other single, Her? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the better side of things. That was the that was getting her to be the one waking up next to me. And then, you know, it turns out I just I, I even in her dreams, I can't keep it together. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I've had a chance to listen to your song, McConaughey, which is yeah. very, very cool. And uh, I, after uh, Matthew McConaughey, of course, my mom happens to be his number one fan. I, I even said it to her <laughs> she got she got a kick out of it. Do you know if he's heard it, by the way? He has heard it. It was like Christmas morning. I woke up uh, to an email that said uh, Matthew heard it and said, quote, I love this. And I was like, I'm done. That's it. I, I'm good. That's all I need. That's great, man. That's yeah. great. Uh, you're a dad too, right? I am a new dad. Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. How old? Thank you. She's six months old. Oh, brand new. How you like it? So I'd far? Say it's the best age though. It's like, she's got so much personality. She can like kind of sit up to play now. She laughs nonstop. I'm her favorite person. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. That's what I say. My wife says she's her favorite, but she's not here. So I'm going to take it and make it yeah. official. I'm her favorite person. Yeah. No little girls. Um, they love their dads. That's good. That's good. It's, it's the coolest job I've ever had. I agree. I agree. Um, is your family on the road with you or are you by yourself? Uh, so right now we're kind of West coast, uh, side of things. So I've been coming home on all the days off. So I'm, I'm home now. I just playing with her 
And then, uh, the real kind of distance starts, um, tomorrow and, uh, they'll pop in and out. And then when we're on the East coast, they'll kind of come do the same thing and stay there while I come in and out of New York. So, um, we're making it work. It's an adventure. Hey, that's the job. Nice little balance right there. And have you always been into music or is something you fell into later? Um, I started when I was 15, I, I moved to California in the middle of summer. So, um, I had no friends, you know, I, I, I couldn't meet anybody at school or whatever. So I, I had my parents drive me to guitar center and I, I bought, uh, the Tom DeLong blink 182 strat and I locked myself in my room and made horrible, horrible music until <laughs> I found some friends to play with. And then we made horrible, horrible music. <laughs> and then it just kind of slowly grew into something fun and awesome. Oh, that's awesome that you, uh, you yeah. discovered it, then you, you fell in love with it. Um, that move and you mentioned your parents, uh, I happen to know your dad, a great guy, Dr. Phil, my wife, she she's always uh, cheating on me with him on TV. <laughs> she is the biggest fan. She's the biggest fan. I got to tell you, Mom. That's what, awesome. What's the uh, what's the best advice your dad ever gave you? Um, I think probably that you would care a lot less what people thought about you if you knew how seldom they did. That's really solid advice. Yeah, you know, I used to just kind of sit around and uh, you know you you find like one mean comment online and then you're like, well, there must be millions more. And he's like, chill, you're yeah. not nobody's sitting around going, I wonder what I can think badly about Jordan McGraw. You know, like he's like, people are at work, people are doing stuff. Just live your life. Have fun. Do yeah. what you do. That's what I'm talking about. Solid advice that uh, I think we need to pass out and pass down to our kids <laughs> right there, man. So when, exactly. does, when does the tour end and where can people find all the info? We'll put it up on our website too, but. Yeah, it's on my website, uh, on all my socials. Uh, the dates are up there. We're on tour until October 28th, I believe. And we, uh, we end here in LA. And, uh, it's just the most fun. So if, if you're, if you're sick of being stuck inside, come party with us. All right. We'll have to do that, man. Go to onwire.com for tickets and tour dates to remember this tour. Jordan, stay safe out there, brother. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. You too. All right. On with Mario Lopez. Woo! Listen, we all love ice cream, but there's ice cream and then there's Jenny's ice cream. Jenny's has unique flavors like brown butter almond brittle, a buttercream ice cream with golden pockets of caramel and crunch, and brambleberry crisp ice cream that tastes just like a fresh berry cobbler topped with vanilla ice cream. All made from scratch, no synthetic flavorings or dyes. Ice cream is great and Jenny's makes it better. Find Jenny's one-of-a-kind ice creams including gluten-free and dairy-free flavors at scoop shops and grocery stores nationwide and online at Jenny's.com. That's J-E-N-I-S dot com. If you love trivia, if you love the hugely popular Stuff You Should Know podcast, then the Trivial Pursuit game Stuff You Should Know edition is for you. With 600 questions, weird and unbelievable trivia in categories like myths, legends, and conspiracies. SYSK selects a mix of topics handpicked by podcast hosts Josh and Chuck. Get the Trivial Pursuit game Stuff You Should Know edition today wherever you get your favorite board game. I want to get back to kissing the cheeks of my grandbabies, making Sunday dinner with a house full of family and lots of laughs. <laughs> COVID-19 has changed how we live and how we feel. But now there are vaccines and they are the very first step that let us get back to what we miss most. It's OK to have questions. Is it safe? Should I wait? Now get the facts. Visit GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you. Brought to you by the Ad Council.